music's not too loud, but still there, and you can hear my voice, which is the important thing, I think. Maybe not, depending on what you think. <laughs> uh, hi, welcome. Uh, today, um, if you got the, the bundle for racial justice and equality, well, this is something you own. Um, this is if this is hex kit um and i was gonna play around with it because i haven't done a map in a while and i thought hey gotta uh, gotta make maps uh i got my face in the middle of the screen so you can kind of see the the tile sets here um but yeah I, we got a fresh map we're gonna figure that out you also have a space uh tile set so i think we'll make some space you need to like there's an import function here. You gotta import tiles. You gotta import the file as tiles. Um, you could probably figure out how to do that. Um, it was easy enough for me. Uh, but then I also, because um, it looked cool and I was playing around with it a tiny bit beforehand, uh, I got a pixel set. But that was that was not included in the bundle. Uh, I had to go get that one. <laughs> But uh, I, I watched a video on it, and it seems pretty cool. So we're gonna go after over some some basic stuff first. So we have uh, just some ocean tiles. What do we want? We want this. Let's let's just make some ocean. This is all gonna be ocean because something hex kit does is it has layers. So if I want to make a new layer, I'm going to make a new layer that's called land, I guess? Land. So base, land, great. Uh, check mark. So in the land one, we want to go back, back to our tiles, cause, well, and you can kind of sped through that, but you can kind of pick any of these uh, tiles, you can mix it up if you want. Um, get different ones. You can just do a basic ocean thing that's kind of colored in. Um, uh, you could do some some of this other stuff. I guess blanks. Blanks are basically the same. You can have something like that, um, or, or just have a, a completely black background. Okay. Um, yeah. Or put in some blanks, but there's also like an erase tool. He he says failing to erase things. Weird. All right. Well, there are <laughs> there are blank tiles uh, in case we forgot. Um. So. Oh, because there's nothing in the in the base. I have to be on the right layer to delete things. There you go. Perfect. So, now that we have our uh, thing, we can, on the land layer, go to uh, coasts. So, and then we can have coasts that, uh, you can see it's, here it's half one color, half the other. If you do it without a base uh, for the bottom, it will just show up uh, as uh, white on white. On white. Um, so putting down a base layer gives you kind of like the, the background, back backdrop, maybe the water level that you want. Um, I like the squiggly lines. You can do whatever you want. So yeah, we got, uh, got different tiles. Oh, I'm doing it on the wrong layer. Be sure you're on the right layer. So I got that. Uh, there's a way to mirror the layer, and I think that's this tool. You can mirror... Oh, that is not... The Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. This one. Boom. Mirrored the layer. There you go. Uh, another another thing that's handy with this, uh, the blank layers that we saw before, is filling in your land. Uh, so, uh, well, we'll worry about f filling that in once we got the coastline. Uh, we'll maybe make a big lake somewhere in here too. One of those in there. You can right click to kind of move it around the way you want. Let's spin it all around. Um, maybe put like one of, one of these guys in here. Sure. Uh, 
Okay, and just play around with the the coast that you want. Uh, there's a bunch of different tiles for that. You know, lined up in different ways. Uh, uh, I'll just maybe, maybe just make a a couple continents here. So half to half, that's uh, not quite. Oh man, is there no half to half? There has to be. There we go. Excellent. We'll find some. Uh, we'll find. Uh, I don't know. We don't really have a, a, a theme in mind at the moment. Normally I do make like fantasy RPG maps, so I, I've got no, uh, no uh, design in mind at the moment. Um, uh, just playing around with a new tool because it's uh, something I, I picked up from... Uh, uh, from a, a charity bundle I got recently. Uh, to be honest, not so well. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, welcome. Uh, I, I hope this can uh, at least cheer up a little bit. Uh, I wish there was more. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's a better fit here. Hmm. Water to water. So this, I'm I'm realizing that this is maybe a little limited in its uh, abilities because all the coastlines are, are basically the same. Um, and maybe it's just not good for this. So what we'll do is we'll fill those in with blank tiles. Um, Where were the blank tiles? Are they in here? No. Um, ah, utilities. Blanks. Perfect. So, got that. Uh, so, you only can mention about uh, the bots thing. I uh, just thought uh, I've been looking at stuff too. Uh, cool. Yes, yeah, thank you. Um, uh, what was that? Um, you had a Stream Deck app. I just got the. Um, I went and downloaded the Streamlabs one because I use Streamlabs. Uh, but knowing knowing other uh, options might be good. Uh, touch portal. Okay, I will forget that. But oh, maybe I'll, you know what? I'm gonna write it down. Like responsible adults, I'll take a note. Touch portal. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, you can make a coastline. You can do like a full thing. Um, I want to get to some other tile sets, um, so I'll, I'll just show you some some stuff you can do to get a rough idea for what we want, and then we can use uh, we can use the coastline. Um, Use a coastline tile after we've done all this stuff. Um, oh, also something you can do, and I don't know how well it'll do. Uh, not, not so good as a coastline tool, but you can maybe 
pull some of these around and uh, so what I what I was doing there was you can uh, just click and hold and it'll uh, just randomly distribute everything from from that one tile set. So if you select the the stack, it'll it'll do what it's doing there. Anyway, yeah, you get the idea. So now we've we've kind of made a rough continent. We can fine tune it with uh, other tile sets. Um, Delete the ones we don't need. Uh, that's that's good enough for our purpose. Uh, you can uh, make parts of it grassy just by choosing that tile set. You can uh, add mountains, different styles of mountains. You can just uh, brush draw over that. Um, hills and whatnot. Great. So from here, uh, from just base nothing uh, you don't have to have a coastline or anything you do a much more zoomed in map have like a grassy area uh, uh, a part where our hills maybe come through uh, very basic stuff uh, maybe more dense as we get in there uh, but yeah you can kind of just play around with what what's there um, does this one have the roads and stuff? S swamp, swampy areas. There you go. So you can do a much more zoomed in kind of hex by hex crawl type uh, thing. But that's just the basic tile set. Say we wanted to make a a space map. Look, it's space. <laughs> uh, the space has a bunch of different basically space tiles. Um, so you can just click on top of, you can just click the stack and do it up and it looks space, it's not the same tile over and over and over. Uh, I'm going to show you some cool stuff with layers in the space kit and stuff. Space tiles uh, look like this and you can, uh, other space tiles look like this. Uh, you can add nebulas and maybe you want like a weird nebula here, maybe one here, kind of just a by hitting the, the stack and not selecting one. Or, or you can select particular ones that you want. You can, like I want to add this green one here, for example. Uh, but you can just, if you don't want to choose, you want to kind of just randomize where they go. You can do it like that. Uh, anomalies, you can do, uh, you can have full tiles for anomalies. Um, you can pick the exact anomaly you want. That, right, oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. And then so, something that's cool, you'll notice that these aren't hexes. That's weird. Because if I put them here, it kind of breaks it. This is where the layers come in, friends. So we got the anomaly layer, and now we can add these anomalies on top. That's weird. And, hey, look at that. Um, something you can do too is put these anomalies here and then say you're showing your players you don't want them to know where everything is you can hide the anomaly layer so if we're in space and suddenly this anomaly is here you don't know that it's there until BAM you're, you're there for example we'll make a new uh, new mo a layer that's co we'll call it planets we got a, a series of, of planets that we can put on the map and kind of move them around if we want to do it so with the, the right click just like before uh, maybe there's a, a couple planets together there uh, if you don't want to know where the planets are again you can just hide hide the layer so you can do a lot of cool work with uh, the layer especially in the presentation of uh, maps to your players uh, if you're using this maybe this was a star map found uh, in some ancient temple so we'd make a layer that was alien markings. Uh, great, and then we'd make a layer that is um, anomalies. So I'll have the anomalies here. We're gonna have this anomaly. We'll, we'll mark this anomaly here on the map, uh, and then above it, we'll have the alien marking of the, the spirally black hole ness because the aliens want to watch out for the black hole. So if you, uh, you can hide the anomaly 
and hide this. Uh, but if you have the alien markings, you can reveal that to your players. Oh, what does that mean? Uh, well, then you can look at it without it, and oh, there's a black hole there. You, you can play a lot with the, the layers and how you present uh, information to your players, which I think is super cool. Cool, maybe, maybe over here we got a cool moon, an important moon. Maybe there's some weird stuff over there. Uh, we gotta follow the, the signs or whatever. Uh, what else does this uh, have? Beacons? Oh, these are just like random nav token type things. That's neat. But then we can have uh, an additional layer. Hyperspace tracks, I guess. Have that shooting around the black hole. Maybe another turn around here. You get the idea though. Make cool Starway maps. Then you can have a different colored one this way. Maybe this map goes this way or whatever. Or you can even have like different uh, hyperspace tracks. So you can have the blue track on one layer and that's like Interconnect intergalactic trade, and this is maybe like the war path of whatever thing, and or the you know, make up whatever you want. But you can have these like tracks of things and then have them hidden over the map. And then the alien markers, or like how do these correlate to the alien markers, and etc. I think that's uh, something super cool. Strange worlds, Ooh, I like that. Oh, look at that, look at that wormy world. That's over there. Uh, that's another thing you can do with these uh, these maps is show all the coordinates. So you have all the coordinates uh, for the different areas. If you if you need them, um, you can have that. Uh, you can show hidden. You can add and remove it on the fly. Uh, is the canvas size for the panel? Nope. Uh, the canvas size is not limited. In fact, on the side here, it's got a nice little tool that lets you add or subtract uh, layers. Uh, when you make a new, uh, I will cancel that. But when you make a new, oh, it's just gonna make me make a new one. I can choose the size. Uh, so a large is 24 by 24 the medium is 12 by 12 but i can i can make it 36 by 36 if i wanted that's just going to be a bigger map so lo lots of customization and how big you want the map to be too uh just for our our purposes today i was going to work with uh, a medium medium map no thanks or medium-ish. Um, yeah, alien markings layer. What, what do those mean? Who knows? You can make that up. That's all part of the, the DM and YA.